Now I've also brought in our reporter Chance Sticklin with me into the studio on this blessed Halloween day. We're certainly celebrating a lot today. Um, hopefully you're getting out and celebrating yourself at home. Now Chance, we just talked about a lot of kids heading out trick-or-treating. Were there any other tips or something you could share with us about what to keep an eye out through police's presence tonight? Yeah, so uh, Callie Berkson with the police department did tell me there would be an increased um, law enforcement presence, which makes sense. You know, they want to keep the community safe. Um, but really, just go out, have a fun time, be safe. Uh, it's an outside event, so COVID isn't as transmissible outside, which is good. The kiddos can have some fun time. But really, if you're just out, make sure you, you know, drive out at the speed limit, of course, and just take some extra time. Uh, we all want to have a fun time, but we also want to make sure that safety comes first. And you're absolutely right, Chance, and as some of those COVID precautions start to slow down, we, we should see quite a bit of traffic out there on the street. So very glad for our uh, police department and their efforts on this holiday season working as well. We will, of course, be here in studio covering all of your Halloween highlights. You can catch us back here again at 10 p.m. for all those updates. But for now, get outside, enjoy some of the festivities, I think we're going to do the same. You got it. Awesome. And for the latest news, weather, and sports 24 hours a day, head on over to westernslopenow.com, and we'll see you back here at 10. Happy Halloween, and please stay safe. Good night.